I figure you create a space where the viewer who walks into the space becomes the spectacle. So when they move into the space, they feel small. You know, you feel small, you feel the weight of the objects in the space. So you ask to take some time and look around. Because you want to discover what, it, what this thing is. What is this thing that's pressing against you? It's forcing you to, to cringe, to forcing you, forcing you to like, you know, get small and consider. And that's how I want my work to be. I want you to feel my work. The effort was to use some machetes, knowing full well it's a threatening device. So the people are more involved with the image, the object themselves, as opposed to what the image means. I don't want you to be afraid, and I don't want you to be that relaxed. One machete could be a weapon, but a mass of them who can wield five, six, seven, twenty, thirty machetes. One method was to hang a lot of them. It's about two hundred machetes. The ones that are suspended from the ceiling hung them using fishing line. Once I started doing that, the light hit those filaments because the mass of them, the light hit them, and they started you were able to see them and it was it was fine thread like spider like like spider web in the, in, in the early morning when dew was on it. That's the image I saw, and I kind of like that. My whole thing is about using material as a storytelling medium. And the manner of manipulating the materials is also important for telling the story for me and for um, keeping me interested. Because I wanted variety, how do I get the bare metal to look interesting? So I took an eye in fire. Then you start getting these copper looking tunes. And I started looking very, very interesting. Then to cover them, cover them with this sheet basically, which doesn't stop the effectiveness of the tool, but disguise the blade to some extent so it's less threatening. The machete owns the space, and you enter into the space that belongs to this piece of artwork. Just have this thing, this hovering, constantly hovering threat.